All right, everybody, there's the Pontiac G6 Coupe. This one is a 2007. Let's just take a quick look at it, check it out. You know, um, it's bright red and paint. Kind of a cool color. I like the red, I like the chrome wheels, I like the tires down there, they're in good shape. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop in and take it for a quick drive. Definitely a, um, a pretty, pretty nice car, you know? Um, the reason that I'm doing the video of it today, let's go ahead and crank it up. The reason I'm filming this car today, everybody, is because I had a customer that came in today test driving this car. He wants to buy it with his tax money. And, uh, you know, it really kind of spiked my interest in it when driving it because the car actually kind of, kind of made me say, you know what, maybe I should take a little more time to film some of these cars just because maybe i don't like the way it looks or this that and the other doesn't mean somebody else might not like it and it's not that i don't like the car i just uh something about pontiacs really never kind of spiked my interest in them that much but here's the thing it's got 105,000 miles on it automatic ac works heat works sunroof clean i mean probably not a bad car for around 4,000 bucks. So, let's go ahead and take it down the road, see how she drives, and go from there. Let me know y'all's comments and thoughts about the Pontiac brand. And of course, you know, Pontiac is no longer sold here in the United States of America. They went out of business, I think back in like 2008, right around that time frame. Maybe a little bit after that, but... I'm gonna go ahead and roll the windows up. So it's a definitely quiet cabin. Pretty quiet. Um, I got a lot of leg room in here. I'm six foot one. I mean, got plenty of space for leg room. I really could probably bring the seat up a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna try to be quiet for the next minute or so so y'all can hear the engine and just kind of hear as much as you can. So let's go ahead and slow down and and um, let's see here. All right, I'm gonna give it some gas right here. Three, two, one. Wow, that, that felt pretty nice. I mean, that V6, it's got a little power, a little bit of pep to it. Um, it def does have some torque steer, and uh, if you've never experienced torque steer before, or maybe you didn't know what torque steer is, um, you got horsepower on a car, and you got torque. I believe, and you may correct me, but I believe torque is kind of that low-end power that you get. And so what torque steer is, is when you hit the gas pedal down hard like I just did, the car will pull to the right or the left because it is a front wheel drive vehicle and not rear wheel drive. Let's try that again. That time, not as much. Let's pull it in right here. Steering feels good. Pretty nice riding car for the most part. Let's back it up and let's take a look at it real quickly outside. Reverse is good. I mean, of course we don't have any backup cameras or anything like that. But let's go ahead and take a look at her. Okay, all right, we're gonna have to hit the unlock to get out. I'll go ahead and roll my window down just in case. 105,649 on the mileage, you got your radio. Okay, what's going on here? Monsoon stereo. Put on 93 jams. So something's going on in here because radio's on full blast and we're not getting any sound. I mean, it's working, but it's not doing, playing any kind of music. So 
I don't know what that is. That's why you got to get in these cars and check them out, guys and girls. Before my SD card died, we had a battery problem on the can the GoPro. Now we have SD card problem on the camera. Anyways, good lord, you gotta be prepared, right? So let's take a look at the interior. We know obviously it was in a little fender bender in the front of the car up there. Um, door panel seems to be in pretty decent shape, as in, you know, well, alright. Um, it's definitely got a few stains. It looks like it's missing a little reflector light there. Um, even the, the wood trim in here is kind of faded out a little bit, but it does have power windows that work. It's got tinted windows, power mirrors, power door locks. There's your tan seats on the inside. They definitely could use a good scrub down on these seats. Um, we do have, uh, you know, ash or uh, cigarette burns from the cherry on a cigarette right here, right there so you got that going on wow man even the, the back seat I don't know if y'all can see that right there but even that wow even that back seat has got some pretty massive size uh, cigarette burns in the back um, I'm almost to think that that's not I mean those those holes right there like that they're even on this side I mean look how big they are guys and girls I mean big enough to get my tip of my finger in there okay those almost look like they might be from a blunt or a, a cigar, something like that, okay? Cigarettes usually don't put that big of a hole in the back, the back seats. I mean, these right here, you can get the whole finger head in there, okay? Just stick your little thing. Okay, so anyways, obviously some passing of the blunts was going on in this car. I mean, look at them. These holes are everywhere. I mean, I don't know if a bee got in here and started nestling a little nest in there, put a little honey in there, but um, I mean, the whole, every seat inside this car has got some kind of blunt or cigarette burn in it. Um, the only thing that kind of is interesting to me is that the headliner doesn't. And the headliner's in good shape. And when people are sitting in the car, okay, smoking their blunt, smoking their black and mild or cigarette, they usually got the window cracked and they're ashing out the window and those A pillars get hit quite often, you know, and get burnt, okay? So maybe they just had the windows rolled down. Maybe they were clam baking in here, had a little thing right there and ash right into there. Just saying. All right, guys, that's the interior. Let's go ahead and take it back down the road. Who knows what next is gonna happen. Ah. Man, it's been about a day or so since I've really got out here and done a car review. And I've been really itching to do one. Next review coming up of a car is going to be the Infiniti QX56. So let's go ahead. Uh, the car's running, believe it or not. It's very quiet in here. Let's cut the air on. The temperature outside today is in the 70s. I mean, it's the beginning of February and it's in the 70s outside. Cut the AC on. Whew. I mean, I'm sweating, guys. It is absolutely hot out there. Okay, but um, well, let's see if the sunroof works. I mean, I know that's important. Had a customer last night. She's like, man, I cannot stand buying a car and then after buying the car, get home or whatever and, uh, and realizing little things didn't work and things were broken on it, you know? So that's why I try to go through and really inspect these cars as good as I can so y'all can see what's going on with them, even on an older car like this. That's a pretty car over there, the Jaguar, not bad. All right, so let's give the uh, the V6 a little, little, little hit of the money here and see how she does. You know, cosmetic stuff like engine or not cosmetic stuff like the interior and exterior to some people are not really a big deal. Some people, most people, are just concerned with that engine and transmission. And uh, you know, cosmetic stuff can always be fixed. You can put seat covers on the car. You can repaint a car, wax it, and get it cleaned up. But motor stuff is where it gets expensive. AC is definitely blowing nice and cold, which feels great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slow down a little bit. I'm gonna cut the AC off or down, and let's let's give it another run for the money here. Three, two, one. Little torque steer, but that's pretty pretty normal on this car. 
Um, to have a little bit of torque steer when hitting that gas pedal down on a V6, it's, uh, it's not a very big car, it doesn't weigh very much, right? You know, it's not a little Civic hatchback, but it's not a big car. So I, I definitely understand some torque steer there. I mean, it's, it's not like we're making this into some kind of drag car or race car. So you don't, I mean, just driving around town, hitting the interstates and all, I think this would be a great little car to do that in. And uh, the mileage is pretty great, man. I mean, 105, not bad on a 2007. A lot of the cars in our lot are well over 150 to 200,000 miles. So getting one like this at 105, pretty sweet deal. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Charleston Car Videos. We sell them, you buy them. And, uh, well, I forgot the rest of the slogan. See you later. Peace.